If you have a research proposal topic in mind and you are looking for a financial assistance for somebody to fund it, then ICMR, Indian Council of Medical Research, is offering financial assistance if you have a topic in mind. Today's video would be about that. The deadline for this is 29th of Feb 2024. In today's video, I am going to tell you about some of the examples. Like if you are asking for financial assistance, then what examples? Examples of projects you need to know so that you can frame the title accordingly and plan your work accordingly. So that would be told. Then how do you apply? What would be the eligibility? Also, what would be the selection process for this? Because this is not like a regular PhD fellowship or your postdoctoral fellowship. This is asking for funding for a research proposal. What are the different criteria for it? That also would be told. Apart from that, contact details of the relevant authorities would be shared. So in case you have doubt you can definitely go ahead and mail them and get in touch with them so things become quite clear and easy for you let's move on to some of the examples on screen so that you better understand how things can go around discovery research aimed at finding novel interventions and validation in vivo models development research aimed at developing interventions for screening diagnosis prevention treatment of diseases or make safer interventions simpler safer more efficacious or more affordable. Delivery research or implementation research aimed at learning how to overcome barriers in delivering effective interventions to the people who need them. Descriptive research aimed to understand the disease or conditions including its burden, risk factors and determinants. Pathogenesis mechanism will be funded if it generates information required for decision making on health problems where it is lacking. Priority disease and conditions. These are some of the examples of the topic that you may want to explore but this is not the only thing there are more topics in the brochure and i would highly recommend you after watching this video check out the brochure for full details on the different subtopics and topics which are relevant to this the funding that would be given is between two to eight crores the duration for this is maximum three years you may get an additional six months if required that is dependent on circumstances so basically it's three years now how do you apply for this what pro forma what kind of forms documentation all is required for this so first things first the application is completely online who is going to fill this the application would be filled by the principal investigator if you have a team if you are asking for funding for this level of project from 2 to 8 crores then obviously there will be a team associated and the details of which would be submitted in the form where is the form present form is present in the brochure on the website not just your qualification but the qualification and skills of your team relevant experience that also would be asked in the form now this particular fellowship is for all the scientists who are not part of icmr this funding is from india Council of Medical Research ICMR. However, it is for those who are not associated with ICMR in any way. Either you are a scientist or working over there, then you are not eligible for this. So this is an important point that I wanted to highlight. Make sure that all the relevant details in the form are filled and the scheme that you are going to apply for this is ICMR Extramural Research Program. This is the name of the scheme which is there on the website and you have to fill all the details under this particular scheme. At least one co-PI, like a co supervisor would be required apart from the main principal investigator. Make sure that all the details are filled well ahead in time. The last date is 29th Feb as I've already mentioned. There is still a lot of time so you can instead of waiting for last minute you can fill all the details ahead in time. How the selection would be made? What are the different criteria and is there any criteria as such for selecting a good research proposal for this funding? Because it's a major funding. 2 to 8 crores is is not a small amount. Let's review the conditions. The stage one includes two independent experts, okay? Two people who would evaluate your project separately and there are marks for each question. Let's move to the screen to understand that. Rationale of the project. Is it likely to solve
solve a priority problem. So you will get marks out of 20 if the answer is satisfactory for this. Then possible impact. Is it likely to have an impact on health outcomes out of 20 marks? Novelty or innovation? Is the study developing or testing a new idea? 15 marks for this. Methodology. Are study methods appropriate to achieve the objectives? 30 marks for this. Implementation strategy. Is the study feasible in a timely manner? 15 marks for this. The total of this would be 100 marks. Now, for you to be eligible for stage 2, you have to get minimum 60 marks at this stage independently by each export. Okay, so there will be two exports, not one. Now, once say suppose you get above 60 marks, which if a proposal is good enough, then it is normally getting. What will happen at stage 2? At stage 2, you will be interviewed by a project selection committee. Now, what is a project selection committee? Whatever details you have furnished. Now, the committee may have questions related to that and also they will give a feedback and suggestions to improvise on your work from their point of view. So, that also would be given at this stage. The third stage would be budget review committee. Now, it is established that your proposal is good. You have got about 60 marks. Project selection committee also has given a green signal. Now, in that case, how the allocation of funds would be given for different parts of your project. Though it is a single project proposal, there will be different different parts in it which may require a different funding within the same criteria. So how the budget allocation would be done? All that would be seen by the budget committee and then you will get the final nod or approval for this. It's a great opportunity if you are working in something like this in this sort of field and if you have further queries then shoot your queries over here on these email address and I'm sure they are going to get back to you. So with that it's a wrap. If you want more videos on on project proposals, research proposals like this, then let me know. This is the first video of its kind that I'm doing on this video. I don't know how it's going to help you or no, because on this channel, most of the demand is for PhD fellowship or master's fellowship and that kind of content. But call for proposal is something that I really want to get on this channel as well. Let me know if it's going to help you. If it is, then I will make more videos on such call for proposals so that you also get an idea. Also, if you are looking for a PhD fellowship or if you are looking for some form of research fellowship, not necessarily PhD, but any form of research fellowship, then this kind of call for proposal can help you get an idea of what is trending right now because whatever is trending right now, only that is going to get funding. It will hopefully give you an idea of what all topics to choose for, what are the different things which are in trend with respect to research and even that is going to help you. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Till the next time, bye.